These are some of the cultural shocks I had moving to Ghana. Ghanaians, we use please to finish it. I love Maraji. I watch her videos, her YouTube videos. I just sharp hope this video doesn't give me a copyright, okay? So I came across this video on Pulse TV, Pulse Ghana, you know, on Instagram, where she shared the things that shocked her while, you know, when she moved to Ghana. And it shocked me to get. How can Ghanaians say please for everything? How can you guys attach please even if you want to insult someone? In Nigeria, we don't say please like. You can't even say please. You know, if you are stupid, you are stupid. There's not there's not two ways about it. If you are foolish, you are foolish. So eat eggs with anything. They eat eggs with swallow. I'm still not over the fact that they eat eggs with swallow. Because guys, the only thing we eat with if you're not eating your sandwiches, your bread, your rice, we don't even eat egg with soup. Even shockingly for me, it's mostly Eurobars here. I found out that they eat they can act as an add to eggs to their stews. In East, we don't Add stews, add eggs in our stews. You can only eat egg boiled or fried. When I heard that Ghanaians eat egg with soup, like swallow with egg, shocking. <laughs> Their buses are actually very comfortable to sit in. Guys, our buses are not comfortable, just very few. Even shockingly, some buses when you're traveling from Lagos to the east, you guys like you carry a bumble, you want one yash up like this. You carry another yash up like this, guys. You the pain, the discomfort. But the pictures of what I saw, gosh, it's actually. Then let's talk about the ones you know transportation. The buses are not fine. Like so no wonder she she was actually shocked. No wonder because that is the bitter truth, guys. Our buses they are crazy. And then we call our conductors. We don't call our conductors mates. We call our conductors um conductor now. Oga, aburu. <laughs> Does they have any name? Just got uh, I bet this is my change. Give me my change, you know. That is Uber or boat in Ghana. And they will maintain one lane. Or gather other lane is free. Enter. No. Here guys, if you are driving in Lagos, oh, hey, if you are driving in Lagos, Nigeria, reserve one hand for abuse. Just like, keep one hand for abuse. Don't even try to don't try to exchange with someone. Just keep one hand for abuse. You guys get what I mean? Like waka. Shake it because if they don't insult you, you go insult them. Sometimes you might just be driving and someone will just start insulting you for nothing. Lagos is rough, like very, very rough. So, guys, I wonder how you know it's actually shocking for me that buses maintain, cabs maintain one lane. Here, yeah. Swan Dari, if there's any English like this, how they if you're not careful, your car is gone. Like, we don't we don't even obey traffic, there's nothing like that. Also, they don't own AC except you pay them. Then the issue of owning AC. You know, I don't think that's here. Once you pay for a cab, you know, be it boat, be it um, tra taxifier, whichever one you're using, you know, AC is actually inclusive in your bills, okay? AC is mandatory. Except if the guy's car is faulty or if you're cold or if anything, your personal reasons, the guy will have to turn up the AC. But you don't pay extra money for AC, okay? Let me know whether is she trying to say that if you pay for cab, you also pay extra money for AC. And I would like to know in the comment section, is that what she meant by you know paying for essays i don't know but that's actually a very shocking thing to me yes. instead of a Ghanaian saying that somebody is pretty or the guy is handsome they would rather say that girl is nice pa what can you say like me now you know i'm pretty what do you guys think yeah if no no earrings i know i know i know but look at, look at the face very well how can you look at me and say you're nice like bro you can't say nice to someone that is pretty. That's actually weird. It's a strange joke. Is <laughs> you can only say you are beautiful. Oh, look at that pretty guy. Look at that handsome nigga. Look at that fine baby. But you can't say look at that nice woman. Like adjective for a pretty person is not nice. You if you are dark skin, you are Ghanaian. Ghanaians will just assume because you are dark skin, and then all of a sudden you are speaking tree. Oh. If you are dark skin, they assume that you can speak true. They assume that you are Ghanaians. I've actually said that before, and someone came for me. They were like, "Ah, oh, Ghanaians are light skin." We all know that you guys have light skin. Because whenever you guys see someone that is light, you guys assume that the person is Nigerian. Okay. Let me know other cultural thing that shocked you. If you are Ghanaian, if you've lived in Nigeria, let me know what shocked you when you came here. I have guys. Literally, I have met a lot of Ghanaians here, even close to me. They are here. They and they came into the country, into Nigeria, like two months ago. They're into networking, and these guys, they've actually still a lot of things that shocked them as Ghanaians in Nigeria guys and the first thing this guy said was that why is there a lot of Nigerian ladies are fair skin even though some of them bleach like you guys said used to say yes some of them bleach but 
I think we have more fairer people here based on the things that people are saying. It's not me, oh, you guys should not come see if you come for me, I'll drag you. See, this channel is a controversial channel, it's a controversial channel, and I don't have if you drag me. If you tell me why, I'll tell you 10. And I own it with my full chest. Okay. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, do Shakara don't end it. Eh? Shakara don't end it. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please click on the subscribe button for more news, more entertainment with a little bit of violence. Oh, shit. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.